welcome inside the Globe TV studios. And welcome to the first episode of Change Up Chatter. I'm Lily Herrera. And I'm Colin Eccles. You know what, it's about time we had a baseball show. We had soccer, we had basketball. Only fitting baseballs up next. Absolutely, and given that I used to play collegiate softball and you still currently play collegiate baseball, I thought we'd be the best people to give you the inside scoop on the postseason games and highlights. I couldn't agree more. In this episode, we'll be giving you the details of wildcard games that took place Tuesday and Wednesday between the eight teams that made it to the opening round. We'll continue to release episodes throughout the playoffs as we bring you recaps and predictions for the future. These teams and their matchups are separated by the National League and the American League. On the American League side, the series saw the Texas Rangers take on the Tampa Bay Rays and the Minnesota Twins versus the Toronto Blue Jays. On the National League side, the games were the Arizona Diamondbacks against the Milwaukee Brewers and the Miami Marlins versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Now let's dive into the American League. And Colin, how about you start us off with the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers series? Thanks, Lily. Their series was short and sweet because the Rangers swept their opponent in just two games. In Game 1 between Texas and Tampa, the Rangers took the win 4-0. In Game 2, they completed the sweep over Tampa with another win. Final score, that one 7-1. In Game 1, player of the game was rookie outfielder for the Rangers, Evan Carter. He led with the way with two doubles, two full count walks, and a stolen base out of the nine hole. Game 2 had Adolis Garcia and Carter as the leaders, with both of them hitting solo home runs to keep the Rays out of reach. In the end, though, the defensive errors were what set the Tampa Bay Rays back. Lily, how about you give us some insight on Toronto and Minnesota? Absolutely. Spoiler alert, we had to bust out the brooms for this one, too. Just like the Rangers, the Minnesota Twins swept the Toronto Blue Jays in just two games to earn themselves a spot in the division series. Game 1 had the final score being 3-1 in favor of the Twins, and Game 2 was just as close with Minnesota coming out on top again to shut out the Blue Jays with the score being 2-0. Player of the game for the first matchup was another rookie. Royce Lewis for the Twins had a two-homer game, both of which drove runs in to help take game one. In game two, closing pitcher Johan Duran came out in the ninth inning and struck out the first three batters to send the Blue Jays home and send the Twins to the division series. The National League was definitely no different. The number six-seeded Diamondbacks and the number four-seeded Phillies swept third-ranked Brewers and number five-seeded Marlins. Let's take a look at the players of the game and scores for each series. Lily? Thanks, Colin. Let's kick off the National League talk with the series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Milwaukee Brewers. In Game 1, the Diamondbacks started off down by 3, but instantly put the pedal to the metal and came back to win 6-3. The players who stood out in the game, one were Kevin Ginkle, relief pitcher for Arizona, and the D-backs veteran third baseman Evan Longoria. Longoria flashed the leather to sustain the lead in fifth inning, and Ginkle struck out four batters to keep a one-run lead going to the final frame. D-back second baseman Cattell Marte put Arizona ahead for good in Game 2 against the Brewers after a two-run single in the sixth inning during a four-run rally. Colin, we wrapped up those matchups. Now tell us about the exciting series between the Phillies and the Marlins. Let's get right into it. Let's start with the fourth sweep in the wild card series. The Phillies took the series against the Marlins and sent them swimming back home to Miami. Game 1 ended with a final score of 4-1 in favor of the Phillies. Star of the show was the starter for the Phillies, Zach Wheeler. Wheeler threw a shutout against the Marlins up till the 7th inning, struck out 8 batters, and only allowed 1 run on 5 hits. Game 2 player of the game goes to Phillies second baseman Bryson Stott for hitting a grand slam in the 6th to put the win out of reach for the Marlins and easily sending the Phillies to the division series with the end score being 7-1. Colin, I know you mentioned to me that this is only the second time since 1996 that four teams were eliminated on the same day in a wild card series. And that makes me extremely excited for the division series games, especially because the Dodgers will be playing. So do you have any favorite game matchups or any bold predictions for the NLDS? Well, I would say my favorite matchup coming up is the rematch of the 2022 NLDS. you got the Phillies and the Braves going at it, one of the best offensive powerhouses in the Braves, red, led by Ronald Acuna, 40-70 season for him as well. Also got some good pitching. Spencer Strider broke the uh, single-season strikeout record, passing John Smoltz. Yeah. Smoltz had 276, Strider's at 281. So we got a good one coming up between the Braves and the Phillies. We've got an amazing lineup. I want to make my bold prediction being the Dodgers will sweep in three against the Diamondbacks. I know it's kind of bold, but... I'm a Dodgers fan. I have to Fair do enough. it. We will be back next week with our picks for the final two teams of the World Series, which teams GC students pick for the World Series, and updates on the division series, which will be the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Atlanta Braves versus the Philadelphia Phillies, the Minnesota Twins versus the Houston Astros, and finally, the Baltimore Orioles versus the Texas Rangers. We'll see you next week for more Change Up Chatter.